Good evening and hello everybody. Uh, winter is coming fast and the evenings are getting darker sooner. Uh, you may see, see from the title of my video it says the pipe factory. I'm not in a pipe factory, I'm in my studio and my office at home. Um, and the reason it's entitled the pipe factory was because uh, earlier this week I visited the Big Ben pipe factory, that's the Albert Goebbels pipe factory in Roermond in the south of Holland. Now the last video I mentioned the possibility of a Dublin Dam pipe so that was carrying that a bit forward. Um, Albert Goebbels, uh, the managing director, uh, fourth generation I believe, third or fourth generation, actually kindly invited me to come along and we, he was very interested to hear about uh, a pipe smoker uh, and what's sort of happening on the internet with regard to YouTube and forums and etc. So that was very very good. Right now with that pipe we're looking into the possibility of taking one of their existing, existing Dublin shapes uh, and all, you know, giving it some sort of uh, slight change so that it is original so you won't be able to buy that pipe anywhere else so we, you, know, you do get some uh, degree of originality. Now uh, Big Ben is the only pipe factory, pipe maker really in Holland uh, and the other reason I approach a pipe factory as opposed to a, a artisan is one I don't know of any in Holland but more importantly I want the pipe if it happens to be uh, within the hundred under the hundred dollar mark um, and they're perfectly capable of producing a very fine pipe under a hundred dollars which is exactly what I'm after. Now right now I'm thinking about a Dublin shape uh, something like a flake pipe uh, so a relatively small bowl and possibly a longer shank or a longer stem to make it more of a reader's pipe. Now a reader's pipe is traditionally a pipe a little bit longer that comes away from the mouth that is very comfortable uh, to 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 um, to clench in the mouth while while you're reading, so that's the idea. It may happen, it may not, but we're a step closer now. Uh, he he gifted me very very generously. He gifted me two pipes um, that fall into that category a little bit, and they are Hilson. Uh, Big Ben actually make Big Ben. They make Hilson. They used to make Humbry. Uh, they famously make the the very fine and expensive Porsche pipe and the Bugatti pipe. Um, Equally, they've brought in a new pipe called the Series 5 pipe, which is uh, an attempt to modernize the Falcon design of, uh, of exchangeable bowls. So that was a very brave and commendable uh, design project on their part, and I, I wholeheartedly uh, condone that. An excellent uh, project. If I can find some images, I will upload one of that for you to see. Um, as I said, one of the wonderful things about Big Ben Pipes uh, is their, 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 their clenchability. They have wonderfully comfortable stems, I find. Now, these are the two Hilton pipes that he gifted me. They are actually 40-year-old briar oil-treated. Um, they do come with a condenser filter in it, so I, I just get rid of that. So they are not a 9 millimeter uh, filter pipe, uh, but they are particularly nice. Really nice. Small, light. The smell of the smell of this briar is fantastic, wonderfully fruity. And again, this is a very slight Dublin shape. I, don't, I hope you can see that. It's a very subtle Dublin shape. And again, lovely natural briar. Really nice. Hilsom vintage oil treated pipes. Check them out. Uh, as far as I know, they're only being sold in Europe right now. So that's kind of the Dublin the Dam pipe update. Uh, I've taken some photographs of the pipe factory. Enjoy that. Um, to talk about that a little bit more, I do think that we, we, there is a big discussion that goes on between pipe factories versus artisan pipe makers. And I think it's a little bit unfair, some of the debates that are had. The reality is most of us uh, build up our collection from uh, pipe factory made pipes, be they Peterson's, Savinelli, Vaughan, Breba, Grabo, K. Woody, uh, etc, etc. Uh, and most of us then might pick up the odd, thanks to eBay, uh, at an affordable price, uh, a high-grade artisan's pipe. But I think it is worthy to remember that all factory-made pipes involve a certain amount of handwork and a quite a large amount of handmade work. And equally, most, not all, but most artisan handmade hand pipe makers uh, use some sort of machinery along the way. Um, not all, as I said, but most will use a lathe and a drill. So, you know, what is a factory pipe? What is a handmade pipe? 
I personally think factory pipes give us the advantage of uh, cost, well, well priced pipes and often there's a consistency of quality uh, that you get. So that's my own view on that. Uh, and I certainly think uh, Big Ben, uh, Albert, Albert Goebel's pipes are well capable of producing me a quality pipe under the hundred euro, under under the hundred dollar mark that you will all be happy with. See you all soon. Hope you enjoyed that. Enjoy the photos. Bye for now.